Hello. This brief video is to introduce my new book, The God Helmet Experiments, The Science That Found God in the Human Brain. It's a new kind of science book. Instead of trying to write a book that would summarize all of the God Helmet results, what I've done is rewritten a number of the original research papers. Um, more or less on a line-by-line -line basis to make them easy to read. The original papers were authored by Dr. Michael A. Persinger as well as many of his colleagues and they can be extremely difficult reading. What I've done here is simplified it as much as I can so that ordinary readers with a bit of science education and perhaps some experience in reading science books will be able to understand it for themselves. There are three kinds of material in the book three major sections of it. The first is theories, ideas, concepts, and um, the paradigm that supports the God Helmet. So um, these also have some overviews of the, of the results of all of the work. The second part consists of a number of research papers uh, dedicated to ex specific experiments with the God Helmet. Things like out-of-body experiences, sensing a presence, and even four papers on treating uh, one kind of clinical depression using this class of technology, which is called complex magnetic signal stimulation, or complex magnetic signal neural stimulation. The third part of the book is given over to debate and argument. Dr. Persinger had a number of critics, most of whom were uh, very skeptical atheists, what has come to be called the new atheists. And these are people who believe that religion is com uh, almost completely destructive force and should be abolished. To them, getting rid of religion would be uh, a high and noble achievement, but to Dr. Persinger and I it would be an atrocity. And the reason is we believe that religion, spirituality, religious urges, and the uh, the interface between religious sentiment and creativity are inherent in the human species and to try and abolish religion would be uh, a, an act of utter cruelty uh, well I'll use the same word twice it would be an atrocity one of the criticisms they leveled against him and apparently uh, they did this without reading the actual research papers was that Dr. Persinger didn't use placebo controls well, that's just plain wrong, and you'll see that if you read the God Helmet experiments, the science that found God in the human brain. Um, Dr. Persinger did in fact use placebo controls, and he also used them when experimenting with his magnetic signals with uh, laboratory rats and flatworms and uh, you can't fool a, a white rat. You can't give a white rat a placebo and there's no point in giving a flatworm a placebo either because neither of them will demonstrate the placebo response that we see in humans. Another one of the criticisms leveled at Dr. Persinger was that he did not use blind conditions. As you'll see if you read The God Helmet Experiments, The Science That Found God in the Human Brain, I'm sure I can orient it properly. This also isn't true. Another criticism that was leveled against Dr. Persinger is that he didn't use um, blind conditions. As you'll see if you read this book, this simply isn't true either. He used blind conditions for some, double blind conditions in others. It's also been alleged that Dr. Persinger got his results because he was using sen uh, particularly suggestible subjects when in point of fact they were picked at random from uh, a student population like so many university projects and uh, there was actually a, a few studies done specifically to uh, eliminate the possibility that his account that his results could be accounted for through suggestibility in fact he did one study where he found that his subjects were more hypnotizable more suggestible uh, after their stimulation with the God Helmet than, it, than they had been before. You can't change suggestibility through suggestion. Furthermore, uh, Dr. Persinger's success in treating depression in the laboratory using the uh, God Helmet technology uh, suggests that suggestibility played no role because if suggestion could uh, influence the outcome of a treatment 
for depression, then we wouldn't need anything except placebo to treat it. But placebos have not emerged as an effective treatment for clinical depression. You can't cure psychiatric disorders using suggestion or placebos. Not only that, but there were many studies not covered in this book that worked with laboratory rats and uh, even flatworms. And of course, you can't influence the outcome of an experiment with white rats using suggestion. Uh, rats don't receive, they don't take suggestions, they don't hear them, neither do flatworms. Suggestibility is a uniquely human uh, attribute, trait, and flatworms and laboratory rats don't have it. To learn about the God Helmet and the God Helmet experiments, read this book. It's the only book that's been written on the subject. There are a number of books that talk about the God Helmet in a chapter here or a chapter there, but this is the first volume that's dedicated only and specifically to the God Helmet and the research uh, carried out by Dr. Michael A. Persinger for approximately 30 years. I hope you'll uh, get a copy from Amazon. I hope you'll read it, and I hope you'll give an unbiased review of the book on Amazon. Uh, those are very helpful for authors. So I hope you'll get the book, I hope you'll read it, and I hope you'll leave an unbiased review on Amazon.com. Thank you very much.